Ariana, your tarot life coach, bringing you your tarot skull for July 17th through the 24th. July is flying by, babies. I hope you guys are doing super fantabulous and wonderful. Big, big hugs, fam. Lots and lots of love. High fives, shoulder rubs, pats on the booties, kiss on the cheeks and lots of lots of love guys if you're new to my channel welcome 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 thank you for giving us an opportunity and a chance hopefully you will like to join us now let me make sure i put my timer on because y'all know i'll be talking a little too much okay so we ready to see what's going on this week so just to recap from the monthly july 18th and 19th what did i tell you i am gonna get out and meet somebody because the energy is good on those days on the 20th we have mars entering into leo and the sun and square in Uranus at 28 degrees. Lots of passion and fun. Get with your boo and make lots of love, okay? If you have any planets in Leo, 24 degrees, uh, on the 21st of July, there might be this energy around you where you're kind of questioning what's your purpose, that kind of thing. Just go with the flow or hit me up and let's get a live purpose reading and we'll see what's going on for you. On July 22nd, the sun enters into Leo, and it's Leo season officially. Whoop, whoop. I'm a Leo, so it makes me all excited because my B-Day is coming. Except I'm getting closer to 40. Ah! Isn't that crazy? Anyways, on July 23rd, new moon coming in at zero degrees Leo, guys. That is an auspicious moon. We need to be ready. We need to set up our intentions. I will be having a video coming out probably midweek for that because this is a huge thing. Alrighty guys, let's talk about the energy that's coming in. This is a general read for water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Okay, if you're interested in finding out more about your chart, hit up those free um, sites online. Just Google natal chart free and you can figure that out. Okie dokie guys. Hmm. All I gotta say is there's a lot going on water sign. There is a lot of going on with this blue and green energy, all throat and heart space chakra healing needing to come through. However, you're starting off with the camel, baby. You have got all your humps on your back, okay? You got it full of your resources, you're ready to move forward, and you're gonna move at your own pace, okay? Now, how long can a camel go without water? You know I had to Google that. I was like, how long is it? So in the really, really hot days, it's about three to five days. And in the winter, it's six to seven months. Mm-hmm. Y'all are some tough cookies, water signs. That's all I can say. It says, trust that you have the resources to get through the challenges before you. All those things that you've gone through, like up until now, guys, they're there for a reason. The challenges you successfully faced and the wealth of knowledge you've gotten, it can be called upon right now to cope with any type of adversity that you're facing. And I think a lot of y'all are facing a lot of adversity. So first off, it wants you to identify what you want and then go slow, okay, and steady because that's what wins the race. It's not about getting to the finish line first, water signs. It's almost like you have to like take your time, maneuver through the situation, and I'm gonna say watch your emotions because of the water being res reserved for, for when it's needed. Watch your emotions, okay? This is about resourcefulness, determination, equality, justice, strength, accomplishment, and being adaptable. And that's one thing you have to really go with the flow this this week okay now great mystery is how you're going to physically work with that and that is trusting your creator trusting whoever it is you pray to your source your energy your lord your god whatever it is that you pray to whoever you have got to trust and believe that he is coming through or she is coming through for you that the universe is pulling this all together for the greater good because there's some things that we're just not meant to know i know i get um some people who think that they'll call me and I'll tell them who they're going to marry, when they're going to marry them. Dude, if I could do that, I'd know when I was going to do it. I'd give you the winning lottery tickets. Hell no, I'd keep them from a damn self. I'm sorry, I can be greedy too. The thing is, we have to trust, we have to learn faith, and we got to believe that what we're going through will give us what we want, okay? Now, spiritually, you got the card that says breathe on it. You got Glenn Close. That's who I said she looks like. But she's reversed. So this is a protection message, all right? Don't think that it's a bad thing because it's reversed. It's just inertia, laziness, and apathy are signs of not slowing down but a decay of lifelessness. Wake up and do something to shake it off. Go outside, get some fresh air, do some exercise, do something different. Each breath is precious. 
almost like you need to appreciate and this it's, it's almost like a gratitude thing appreciate what you're going through even though it might really actually suck because you're learning something guys we come into this world we we write these soul contracts and we decide that we're going to move in a different direction we're going to do something do new we're going to learn something and if we look at things that way and we understand that not everybody in life is meant to be with us till we die that they serve some sort of purpose but it's for us to learn and grow then it's not so hard when people walk away sorry i had to drink something it's not like i'm saying let this person leave or whatever because i don't even know why i'm telling you this but it's almost like you guys have been going through a lot and what this camel is trying to tell you is that dude you can go through even more you got this sewed up like you are so good at what you do you are so strong and i just kind of feel like whatever it is take a breath and trust and believe that good things are coming your way okay now let's bless our deck and see what we got going on seeing Satilbus' so deck for water signs, sun, moon, and rising for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. <sighs> Sorry, I just turned the energy around them. It's like 2 in the morning. I apologize. Show me the energy. Show me the energy. For them. All right, that was quick. Um, as I cut the deck, I should have done that sooner. I have oh, the Eight of Arrows with the Queen of Wands reversed. Some of y'all are dealing with a fire sign, male or female, that is being a little vindictive and you feel like a prisoner to them, like you're carrying all this baggage and stuff and you're just not liking the way that it feels. Now, if you're cross-watching, you might be saying, but I'm not the one doing anything wrong. Well, this read isn't for you. This read is for water signs. <laughs> I like cross watching too. <laughs> Let me kind of know what kind of week I'm going to have with the other person. However, you can't take everything to heart, okay? Some of you are going to get pregnant. I just cut the deck and it was like the Ace of Cups with the Empress. So if you don't want to, watch your watch watch yourself okay mm. okay this is your read oh water sign i swear sometimes i know y'all just want to kill me present situation ten of pentacles five of cups reversed mm, hermits the livers star reversed okie dokie overall energy and when i pulled it i pulled both of these and i'm gonna pull it because it is double five five of wands with temperance reversed both are reversed okay guys so your present situation is about money and family it's about cooperation making things work and you want it to work you want it to be complete you want something to be complete whether it's financially spiritually relationship wise or family wise if that's the situation at hand okay oh and i forgot to tell you guys about the read ah so sorry i got all into like preaching and stuff so basically this read is looking at two paths that you can take okay the first path and the second path so before we get any further get it in your mind baby and so we can move on i'm gonna wait okay so hopefully you have that situation in your mind now the first path that you're going to take that positive aspect is the five of cups reversed okay it's almost like you're like dude i know i lost you this is scorpio like energy too this card is attributed to scorpio i know i lost you it's over i'm good let's keep it moving you know like i'm tired of crying about it i'm tired of fighting about it and now the part that's unknown to you the hidden aspect is that i don't know if you're dealing with an earth sign i don't know what's going on i don't know who you're dealing with but you're ready to go and and grow spiritually almost it's like you're ready to develop some skills you're gonna you're gonna go and and the hermit is not a negative card it's almost like you're trying to say you know what I can't deal with this right now I'm gonna go get myself together I'm gonna meditate whatever it is you do but you don't need to come inside my home okay that's how I feel like it is like you like 
ring the doorbell, MFR. Ring the doorbell because I ain't got time to open it for you. And if I feel like opening it, then I will. Because you made me do the Five of Cups reverse. You had me on the floor, butt booty naked, crying about things. Natalie and Brulia all upside my head, okay? Torn up from the floor up. And now you want to come back? That's almost what I feel like some of y'all are saying. That's, that's the first path, okay? Second path, the positive thing is that it is going to be your decision but you have got to make a wise decision because i feel like this person or the situation that's coming back to you is an illusion it's a fantasy it's 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 feeding you a whole bunch of hooey patooey and louie because this is the star reverse that's the hidden aspect it's almost like you're hoping and wishing for something that's just not going to happen the return of somebody or something and, and then it's not going to happen. You might be even dealing with the sign of Aquarius, okay? Not going to happen. And if it does happen, it's not going to be what you want it to be. It's going to be a fantasy. It's almost like living in this... I don't know if you all have ever seen those shows where you like... You pick... You read this... Oh, well, it's not a show. It's like a book, okay? It's from old school. I'm pretty old. So you, you read and like Sally and John, they're going on a spaceship. You turn to page 52 if you want this. Turn to page 62 if you want that. Whatever. Sometimes they make it. Sometimes they don't. But I feel like you're going right into a freaking nightmare. It, 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 you're just... No. It's all about the decision, Okay. Don't be fooled by the hype because someone's going to offer you something this week. You see, okay, this is what I'm getting. I know I'm going off the read, but I'm going to put it all together in a minute. In this first this first situation, this is you. The positive thing is you realize, look, man, it's not working. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to go get myself right. The second path, you're thinking about accepting this cup, but it's a damn fantasy. It's not true. It's not real. Okay? They're promising this. But they're really going to give you a half-ass plate of whatever you want to call it, okay? Overall energy that's coming through for you is two fives. That's a clearing of energy. But this five of wands reverse, for me, this is a damn dirty fight. This ain't right. This is just a damn fight because we're all in balance. And the thing is, there needs to be a clearing of this energy so that you as a water sign can move forward it's possibly with a fire sign Sagittarius energy is coming through but it could be Aries or Leo water signs if you're dealing with that fire sign because um, I don't know if y'all saw her at the beginning or if it was when I cut the deck earlier because I, I I shuffle a lot guys it was the Queen of Wands reversed I don't remember. Gosh, so many cards. Okay. So anyways, I feel like there is a fire sign you're dealing with. Possibly Sagittarius. I would really take my time in making a decision with this person because I don't think they're selling you the truth. And that is three fives in your read. So there are some significant changes that are coming your way, water signs. I mean significant. Look up the number 555. Five, five. Also look up the number 15. 15 might have something for you. No, I'm not giving you the winning lottery numbers. I wish I was. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I'm picking up for you. So road number one, because you want this happy family, right? That's That's the ultimate goal. Road number one, it's going to break your heart. You're going to lose something. Get out of your emotions and go get spiritually fed, okay? However you plan on doing that, whether it's through guidance, meditation, prayer, church, whatever it is, you need to feed your spirit. You need to build yourself up. And I also have, the, I also have this feeling like don't let them back in your house. Like done. Dude, you messed up. You know, messed up enough. Bye. You know, sayonara. See you later. Don't let the door hit you with a good Lord split you. That kind of energy is what I'm feeling. Like, don't you even come up in my place again. Now, the second road, they're going to offer you something and it's going to be a bunch of bullshit. And I'll be real honest with you. It's like they wrapped it up in a pretty box and they're going to give it to you and it's possibly a fire sign. Don't take it. Okay, for those that are dealing with that situation. And, and you know, if you do take it, just be ready to that. Is, it just might be a fantasy. Okay, and this is not for everyone. Okay, not for everyone. You know who you are. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Now, let me give you what I'm getting for the week. <coughs> 
finances are on your mind, family is on your mind, cooperation. Somebody's not cooperating, which makes you feel all over the place, especially as a Scorpio. Just like, what the hell is going on? So you're going to pull back midweek. You're going to get yourself together. You're going to make a wise decision because you realize that what you were being told is a lie. You will feel imbalanced a little bit this week, but you're going to fight for what it's yours. And that's why the camel shows up and tells you to be resourceful to pull through but you gotta have faith that your creator that your your guiding star is going to take care of you okay so that's what i have for you this week and i do feel like you're dealing with a fire sign possibly sagittarius i don't know why i pick up sagittarius well it's probably because of the tree of life and i pick up aquarian energy for you possibly a virgo okay that's all i'm getting so the <coughs> Sorry, guys. I thought I was getting better. I guess my incense got me. The card to tie this read together that kind of talks about what's put us in this situation is Mount Sinai. It's all about foundations, okay? Now, yes, I know this is Moses. Yes, I know Moses is in the Bible. Yes, I do read the Bible. Please don't message me and tell me how I cannot talk about the Bible if I read tarot. Okay, because you are not the all-knowing person, whoever you are out there mailing me mean stuff. Anyways, in the lower world, this site has spiritual importance long before the Abraham religion staked their claim on it. Okay, but the meaning of this is Moses turned a snake into a staff to lead his people out of slavery. Have you ever risked all to ensure your survival? Or did your parents or your grandparents or even earlier ancestors? <laughs> it's about foundations where you come from they offer you a way of finding out about yourself it's almost like you really need to figure out if you're repeating cycles of I, I call them generational curses but I don't really believe they're curses it's just the way that they're described it's like oh everybody in my my family is a single mom oh everybody in my family gets divorced well why is that what happens what is it what is going on here do we take a deeper look at that oh I'll, this always happens in my family well really really well let's let's explore that and let's see how we can um, be the agent of change that comes into the family okay now in the present which is the middle world. It says right now you may feel the things you hold as morally or ethically sacred are being challenged or abused. When people feel like this, it can eventually lead to a revolution or fanaticism. Would you ever take such an extreme stance? You stand on the solid foundations of what you have built and what you believe. Mount Sinai offers you perspective. Heal any rifts with those you should be holding close. Do something today, however small, a text, a call, or a letter, to get the relationship back on firm ground. You can rebuild your world starting with yourself and your family. And for some, like, this may not be a fantasy, but this is isolation. So either way, it's like you try to pull back. The isolation is what's going to make you feel like you have no foundation, you have no home, that kind of thing, okay? For others who aren't being sold, it was all a dream. No, for some of y'all, it's just isolation, okay? Now, in the upper world, ask yourself, what is it you worship and whether this someone or something is worthy of your attention? Are you yearning for a celebrity, cosmetic surgery, whatever, or an unrequited love, or do you desire something else out of reach? When God demanded that no one should worship false idols, perhaps it was to prevent us from wasting our energy on something that has no spiritual value. Consider carefully what you wish for. Would it really bring you a better life? And that's what this is. Is it really what you want? And you see how Moses is looking at them like, mm -mm, you need to read the Ten Commandments. <laughs> you need to make sure you're following these rules because you're not even doing it right. You living in a fantasy. I feel like that's what Moses is saying. I know he's not, but that's what I see. This is what happens when I read cards, guys. I make up all these things. Well, I don't make them up. That's like literally what I feel like Moses is doing. Like he's looking at them like, mm -mm, you got to follow this to build a strong foundation. And they're like, oh, no, we want to go live in fantasy. <laughs> all right. So this week, guys, as you're making your decision, you might find yourself pulling back into isolation. But it is okie dokie. You will be all right. The thing is, make the wise choice. If someone is selling you a dream, have enough respect for yourself to say no thank you, not today. Especially if it's dealing with Sagittarius, because I think Sagittarius is selling you a bunch of haka patooey right now. <coughs> 
and you're probably fighting with that fire sign. Anyways, let's get into your crystals. You got Sapphire Cancer. Abundance, joy, and destiny is coming your way. This is a powerful stone that fosters development towards your destiny, brings wisdom, and enhances the corresponding chakras. It also fulfills dreams. It also encourages faith and hope. Now, Sapphire works with the pituitary and regulatory glands, also stress-related diseases. Drawing this card <coughs> signifies effort will be rewarded. Look for ways in which the purpose can be directed towards achieving goals and inviting success. All right, Pisces, you got carnelian, creativity, vitality, regeneration, and sexuality. Rawr, hello, Pisces. It, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, Pisces. Please don't take me the wrong way. The deep orange color of this stone links it closely to the sacral chakra. Mm -hmm. And thus strongly working with our creativity, sexuality, and emotional expression. Its highly grounded energies accept the cycles of life, giving us strength and courage to live and fully overcome blocks of apathy. <coughs> it's grounded in the reproductive center of the body and allows us to work openly and insightfully in the full range of passionate emotions. Helps with exhaustion, depression, and anxiety. Drawing this card indicates that it's time to draw your inner creative power and regenerate your life. In what areas of your life do you feel stifled? Hmm. Use this energy to power forward. What's going on, Pisces? You're feeling kind of stuck. Now... Scorpios, you got rose quartz, unconditional love, peace, romantic love, trust, and harmony. This stone is linked to the heart chakra, Anahata, and has such works with all matters relating to love and healing of the heart. It's particularly associated with unconditional love, where we seek the offer of love without expecting huge things in return, okay? It's about self-love, healing past wounds, and learning to love. Rose Course replaces negative energies with love and releases emotions and pain. It will enhance unconditional love and harmony in relationships while working to heal past wounds. It is said to strengthen the heart, the chest, the lungs by working with the heart and the thymus glands, okay? It enhances fertility and helps for disease of the mind. Drawing this card signifies that love will soon enter your life either as a romantic gift or in a way that will help you heal past wounds to move on. Overall, what I'm kind of picking up for Scorpios is like you've gotten your heart broken so many times, you're afraid to love, and you're starting to um, internalize, oh my goodness, I'll never meet anyone, I'm going to be alone forever. No, <clears throat> this is actually the time for you to learn to love yourself um, and kind of set that standard of what you will and will not accept. Pisces, it's just time for some real creative energy on solving the problem at hand. And for Cancer, it's almost like you know what you want. You just need to take that step to go get it. So a lot of y'all are dealing with different issues, but it's the same kind of energy that you guys have to have to make this decision. And it's almost like you got to face it head on. And whoever's having issues with fertility, um, that is sacral chakra. So even if you're a Scorpio, carnelian would be very beneficial for you. All right, fam. Big, big hugs. Lots and lots of love. High fives and shoulder rubs, like I said at the beginning. And I have to announce the winners. So the winners of the free reads are Lapita from California. You were number 38. Patricia from California. You were 288. And Valerie D, 199. Thank you so much for your support these were all randomly chosen by a number generator please get in touch with me i have contacted you already super super excited um let's schedule those reads so guys i will be doing this again probably when i hit the 10,000 mark on subscribers we'll do another free read at random all right and i'll pick about three or four different people because there's a lot of people that um order reads and we'll do it not just by the ones who order we'll just do um Maybe if you leave a comment or something, I'll let you guys know. I'll start brain. I'll start working my little brain on it. So, water signs, lots of love. Take care. If you're interested in a private read, hit me up at Ariana Luciano at gmail.com or on the gram at Ariana Luciano. Be blessed, fam.